this is the um, time frame shown as building the, the dome now. Uh, there's a bit of plastic on the side there, really annoying, but it gets worse as it goes on. I'll try and talk you through it and try just try and ignore that for now. Uh, right, we'll start at one end, uh, and we're gonna we're building basically like a half dome section. Uh, there she goes. That's the half dome section. This this at this point, it uh, stiffens up a little bit. It's not quite so loose on the end, so we can then uh, work from there. Uh, you can see I've just tucked a bit of plastic along the back there. Uh, and the frames for the tunnel are, I'm putting on that are not pre-covered. Uh, this means that uh, we're going to throw some plastic over after and we can do the whole central uh, section of the dome in one hit. Um, it only works really if it's a warm day and uh, because it's a nightmare pulling the plastic in. It's just as easy to cover each panel as we did with the dome sections. Okay, as we proceed... Uh, the, you'll notice here that it gets really unstable and floppy. The whole structure is beginning to sag. I've held it up with a stick there till I got the end on, but this is the most um, structurally weak the structure is. It's actually pretty floppy. Uh, you need to be careful of that. Maybe a couple of guys giving you a hand would be, would help, um, but you've got to prop it up so it doesn't flop down and damage your joints. I've thrown uh, a sheet of plastic right the way over the centre. Um, to cover the whole centre section in one hit. What you have to do here is you have to uh, pull the plastic trap tight from the inside. If we'll go up and look at the end. Uh, tuck all the plastic in around the central section and pull it tight from here basically all the way to the end. Okay we've seen in this this quite this is quite a short tunnel. It's not massively long. Uh, I would recommend if you're making a longer tunnel to put some braces. Have a look uh, for example from here from here across to here uh, on, a, on a diagonal to brace round the central section uh, if the tunnel is longer because there is some um, weight. Uh, okay I'll run you through a couple of issues with this uh, kit. Let me do a second. Uh, the top's very straightforward. Um, angles all on the plans, that's pretty straightforward. But the bottom, this is where we get some issues arising in the bottom. Um, these bottom sections, you can see them there, uh, they have to be exactly the same size as this top triangle here. Now, if it's out ever so slightly, even slightly, you'll get a little tiny gap like that. That's because this was the tiny bit smaller. It's it's bang on there, and a little tiny bit out there, and a little, that's bang on actually, and there. But what happens is if you make your base panels even one mil, two mil, bigger or smaller than the frames above, uh, you'll get a compound error, build up, and so by the time you get down to one side, you've got maybe an inch. So what you, what you, when you put building it, start from one end, and then build each section forward, Let's take making sure that the line up. It's a simple, this one has a simple uh, ring. It's a bit above my reach, like that, which locks out. Sometimes with uh, this type of structure, a long tunnel structure, you think that the, possibly the uh, strength might be 
compromise because we're making it a tunnel. Let's just see what you'll hold. Hang on here. There we go. That's how much I weighed in the hole. 